Hello and welcome. So we're back at Mach 1 Window Films in Hernando, Mississippi. Uh, and the video is going to be a little different than usual because I was going to record a video intro and outro after I took this footage, but I had oral surgery and I have a really bad black eye and I look horrible. So I figure voiceover will be the best for now. So you may be asking yourselves, why are we here? What are these guys doing? Well, right now they're just getting ready. They're cleaning off my hood because they're going to put something in. What, you may ask? Well, hold on and I'll tell you. Well, if y'all remember, and if you don't remember, I, I'll link it down below. Uh, but a, a while back, uh, Brian and my friend Brian and I put on a really cool decal on the back of the car, or back of Stormtrooper, that actually says Stormtrooper. It has his name on it. And it was from Lux Auto uh, Concepts, which is a really great place that makes all sorts of accessories for Challengers and other kinds of muscle cars. Well, anyway, again, I'll link the video alone. You can go look uh, below and you can go look at it. But I got a coupon, a uh, 20% you know, off coupon from Lux for buying that. And... A few weeks later, I got an email that said, hey, your 20% off coupon expires tomorrow. And so I went to their website and I said, oh, well, that looks nice. And so I bought a decal for my hood. And Brian and I were going to put it on. Well, again, if you follow the channel, you know that Brian has since blown out his knee and can barely stand and won't be able to for quite a long time as he goes through physical therapy. So what I'm decided to do was take it back to uh, Corey, the guy that did the window tents and does also does films and stuff. And I went to talk to him about it and he said, yeah, we could do that. And so I showed up and of course he wasn't there. But these two guys, who are the guys that handle the wraps and stuff that isn't window tinting, said, well, we'll do it. Except the decal I had ordered and bought from Lux was... I bought gloss black. And again, if you look in the left-hand side, right where that guy, he just walked out of the way. If you look at it, you notice at the very front of the car, my stripe that runs down the side of the car is looks gloss black because of the paint protection film. But then from there on back, where there is no paint protection film, it is, it is basically a matte black. And so these guys said, well, don't you really want a matte black? I went, yeah. And then Corey had talked about peeling back the wind, the, the paint protection film, putting down the, the thing, and then putting it back. Well, then we'd have the same problem we're having there with that front fender thing, which would be the front of the thing would be gloss, and the rest of it would be matte. So these guys, the, the genii here, came up with this thing where we'll put down a wrap a, 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 glo a matte black wrap and then we'll cut it to this to the shape of the decal and you can see right now he's putting down on the hood the magic tape that has like a wire in it that's like a little razor blade so that when you pull the wire it cuts whatever is on top of it which in this case is going to be a black a, a, glo a gloss black, I mean a matte black wrap. So that's what's going on here. They're they're prepping the car. They're putting putting down the thing. Okay, now we will we will zip ahead. So magic of video. So now we have zipped ahead to where they're laying down the matte black wrap, which they're going to put into place. So now they're just doing the measuring, et cetera. And now I will fast forward a little to when they're doing the cutting. Now they're cutting it, but not to fit. They're just cutting it to be close to the shape so that when he's pulling the tape off, when, well, first they're gonna have to stick that down to the hood. So when they do that, they don't wanna have to get all this stuff off. So they're gonna get it as close, they're gonna get close to the thing then stick it down and then pull the tape to do the actual cutting. So this is what's going on right here. 
Now we're to the magic point where they're going to actually stick the wrap to the hood. Now, I was very worried about this part. If Brian and I were going to do it. But it turns out it's a lot more, for, especially the wrap is, I think, a little more forgiving than the decal, is that you can pop it off, put it back on, pop it off. You can use heat. You can see they're just there. It's stuck together. They just popped it right apart. I'm not sure the decal would have been quite so easy, but but anyway, so now that they're, they're putting it down so that they can get it ready to do the actual cut. Okay, so now he's using the heat gun to get it down good, especially there. You can see the very slight line where the paint protection film is, but again, it'll be, uh, it'll be matte, matte on both sides because I did not have them pull it up and put it back down. Which, by the way, seemed like a lot of work, and then I don't think it was going to look as good. So I saved them some time. Okay, now he's, he's getting out all the bubbles and making sure everything's nice and good before he starts the actual pulling of the magic tape, which is the coolest thing. Okay, one, one last pass down. Get that nice and tight. It's all nice and tight. I'm doing my thing, you know, helping them when they don't need my help. <laughs> It's what I do. Okay, now he's going to start pulling the tape. The magic tape. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And done. And you say, well, I didn't see anything happen. Yeah, that's what happened. He pulled that tape up and that little wire in the center came through. Now he's going to pull up the rest of it. See, there comes the, 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 the part that was not the razor wire. And look at that. By the way, he did that by, if you're watching, he did that by eyeball. He did not measure. He just like ran it down with his finger. The guy is really good. Now he's, now again, now he's doing the other side, which again, you can see better on, in the left hand camera angle. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Pick it up. Boom. Done. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. Okay, we will fast forward. Okay, now we are there. They, we. <laughs> you can see me. I'm just wandering around in the background being useless. They are going to trim it up by, by the uh, top of the hood and then wrap it, you know, fold it under the hood so that they get a nice... Uh, see, they, now he comes over to... The, they work well as a team, too. Did you notice? You know, like one does one side, one does the other side. It's just like flawless. And Gabrielle darts in and out and does things. I mean, it, they're a well-oiled machine. Corey has hired some really good folk that know what they're doing. By the way, this guy in the in the blue shirt, whose name has slipped my mind right at this point, uh, right outside behind the vent, he had just finished wrapping his own car it was a white car that is now blue. And I mean, looking at it, there's no way you would ever know that it was not a blue car. So he does really good work. Well, especially when he's working on his own car. But no, it, it's just that they're really good at what they do. And the things they can do with wraps and, and stuff these days. I mean, look at this. Again, this was supposed to be a decal that would go down, but instead it's a wrap. So it's, but it looks exactly the same as it would as if it was a decal. Okay, well, so now they're, they're finishing that up. We'll fast forward again. And now he's coming around to do, I got rid of the other camera because you can only see it here in this one camera. The little, and I think this is the thing that sells it. This little piece that goes on the edge of the top of the fender there next to the hood that carries the black on around off of the hood onto the upper part of the fender there and right into the A pillar. In fact, I'm thinking about down the road carrying that black mat wrap all up, all the way up the A pillar and then black out the roof. So that, that that thing will start at the at the hood scoop, flare out, go around the windshield, up the pillars, and 
black out the hood. I mean, black out the roof. I think that would look fabulous, but, you know, of course, what do I know? But it's my car, so if that's what I want it to look, that's what it's going to look like. So there you pretty much have it. That's what it's going to look like. Okay, you see he's putting the other piece on the other side over there. Again, which the windshield camera was not capturing, so I only have this one side over here. But it's looking pretty good. So there it is. The final thing, see, the hood, it goes, the hood scoop, which is also matte black, which is why the matte was also important besides matching the side stripes. And it comes up, and you can see it from both angles here, from the front and the back. Now, by the way, I was going to be doing this extra shots and stuff outside here at my house. But, yeah, well, again, black eye, oral surgery. Anyway. So that's it for this week. Uh, tune in next week when we don't know what we're doing, but I'm sure it'll be entertaining. I will see you next time. Have a good week.